What's up, YouTube? It's Beta from the Faxable Brothers, of course. Um, so I just want to clarify one first thing. Uh, that Squiddy from the Faxable Brothers. I do not know what videos he's gonna make, but he hopefully makes one. If you're watching this, Squiddy, then please make videos. But anyways, today I'll be showing you how to build a mushroom house. And uh, if you guys ever seen on my first channel or on my channel, the uh, Beta Pi, I already did this, but I'm gonna do it factual version. And this one is kind of different, actually. Okay, so first, what you need, you need um, I personally like birch wood planks. You can use any type of wood you want. Uh, so get any type of wood plank. Of course, mushrooms, they have to be the red ones. I will do a tutorial on the brown ones in, a in another episode. Bone meal, of course. I personally use Podzol because not it doesn't always work. The mushrooms don't always plant on the grass. The glass panes, of course, for seeing outside. Ladders and, of course, your door to get in and out of the house. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's go. So what you first wanna do is you wanna dig three down, place your podzol there, um, and then place your mushroom there, and then use bone meal, and use it on that guy. Now what you wanna do, so of course there's gonna be a doorway and I'm just gonna make three windows around. Now you wanna make them this, all the sides of the doorway. And then what you wanna do is you wanna dig down two blocks worth. So that way. And then you wanna place all these planks around. Now you wanna fill the edge with planks too. And the reason you want to make these the same height as the doorway is because so you can actually see it out of them from this lower floor. Oh, and now place your glass panes in three of the holes. And then place your door in the last. And one more thing you'll need. Um, one thing I think is good for this is cobblestone stairs, but you can use any type of other stairs too. So yeah. But... Uh, so this is kind of just you can add a little window up there if you want I'm just gonna leave it like that but if you want you can like make a two-story which I will be showing you in this but if you just want to leave it like that this is what it will look like finally just like that just a normal little house that's good for survival if you ever come across some mushrooms and then, so now, if you want to make it two-story, all you have to do is just place your podzol up. Just break that here. Close it up actually two or one. Place your mushroom. Use that bone meal. Break the stem. And it may come out like this. Um, but you can just keep making it higher as you go. So, that, that, just bone meal, bone meal that sucker. And then, clear out that. So it's not really getting that high. And then, since I broke that block, um, these blocks aren't replaceable as of 1.7.4 for Minecraft, so all you have to do is just make windows and try to make it symmetrical any way you can. Um, dang it. Well, I'll just leave that. Yeah, you can add windows, do all that crazy cool stuff. You can see it's just 
I don't know what to do here. Well, whatever. And then now if you want to make more room from the levels, because you can add some planks across there. Oh, nope, okay. And then you could just add a ladder going up. And there you go. That's your double decker. Okay, so now if you want more room on either of the floors, all you have to do is just get more puzzle. Well, first, figure out the direction you want it to be. I'm just going to make it coming out from the back. Um, so, we make, we delete that plank. And then make sure that where your mushroom is, it's three blocks away from the edge of the giant mushroom. So, three blocks away, there we go. Well, there's three blocks in between. Now, just... And if there's any dirt around it, just clear it out. So, okay, so, here we go. So now you could just bone meal that sucker. There, oh, can we get a smaller one this time? It's still okay. It is still okay. No need to panic. And then you can just remove the bottom there. And then, since there is no way of, because we did it too high, um, so if this ever happens where you do it too high, there's a better way of fixing it. Um, I'm just going to go like that since there's dirt right there. No, okay. There, so just add some glass if you want. There, and then now you can create a little pathway here out of birch wood. Clear this of the dirt and fill it with birch wood. There you go. Here's your little mushroom house. Add a door if you want, and if you want to keep it completely safe, um, just add that there. And now you have more room. And just to make it not that messed up, just put that there, put that there. And now, as you can see, you have your little mushroom house. Weird looking, isn't it? But it's still pretty nice. Um, so there's many other ways of making one of these, but I just made this one because it's simple, easy, um, easy to get the materials, of course, and it's just, it's just cool. It's just so cool. And you can use it for disguise if you want, um, if you just find a mushroom that's really low to the ground or you make one, uh, you can use it for disguise, um, if, like, so, I don't know why you would use it, because on multiplayer you would have name tags, but who cares? You could just use it for any, you can make a village out of these, that's what I made. But, um, you can do anything with these. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Make more Mushroom Houses, and click that subscribe button to be part of the Pie Nation. For me, and Squiddy, Squiddy and I. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you, pie.